Okay, you can see I have no draining port. So what I'm gonna do is use the uh, container that the holes came in, put it under here, then I'll screw this and let it drip right in there. You can see I got some paper in the back just in case of any splatter. And while I was opening this, I noticed I made a mistake. This is the tubing. This is the tubing I had left over from this. You can see it's um, 3 8 inner, 5 8 outer. You see how thick it is? I made a mistake and got 3 8 inner and half inch outer. You can see how thin that is. Uh, hopefully, I won't need to use any of this so I can return it. Because it looked kind of bad with two, two different tube sizes. So, ready to see how it goes. Okay, I managed to get all three radiators installed. Ran into three problems. First thing I had to do is elongate the holes on top of here so I could move this radiator over two millimeters. And it's a bad idea to put a um, 60 millimeter, 360 radiator in the front. Due to the length of my graphics card, I had to put the fans on this side. So now I lose my um, dust cover. But luckily, this cover still fits. No clearance for anything else to go there. And the last is the, uh, the uh, openings for the barbs. I'm gonna hit this so I don't lose one drive bay. I just move it to the other side somewhere. Other than that, I can move forward. Okay, I managed to get all my water cooling components installed. Now, I have to figure out how I'm going to run the tubing. I have some ideas that this one come around here, down like there. This one come here, 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 here. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see how it works out. Okay, I have completed the loop. Actually, it came out better than I thought it would. I started from this radiator to the pump, from the pump to this reservoir, from this reservoir to this radiator, from this radiator to this radiator, from this radiator to the video car, and from the video car back up to this radiator. Some probably are wondering why do I have this reservoir here? It's purely aesthetics. I just like the way it looked there. That's all. Now I'm about to go ahead and fill the loop with Fluid XP Plus H2O UV. Okay, I have filled the loop. For a second, I was worried that this pump wasn't strong enough. But uh, once I took this radiator back out and took the cap off of it and drained the air out of it, it was fine. Now I can move on to the wiring. Now she's complete. And ain't she beautiful? I ran a couple of temperature tests, Prime 95 and Furmark. Uh, the GPU is overclocked to 750 megahertz on the GTX 590. And the CPU, which is a Intel 2700K, is overclocked to 4.8. And it never um, went over 50 degrees. So I'm going to try to push the processor up to 5 gigahertz. Maybe the graphics card up to 800 if possible and see what happens. I'm pretty um, proud of what I've done. It looks good. I give it two thumbs up. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to see more videos like these. And thank you for watching.